growing up, I fished all the time. My grandfather fished a lot, and every time I'd go over there, he'd take me fishing. I'd grab my bike and go pedal around every pond that I could hit. You know, just had a passion for it. And now you're racing boats. There's competition involved. There's money involved. You know what I mean? That was it. I was hooked. I'm like, yeah, I'm in. I'm Jamie Caldwell. I'm a professional bass angler with a prior service in the Army of 21 years. When I was in Savannah, Georgia at First Ranger Battalion, I ended up joining a bass club and I fished my first bass tournament. I don't only go out there fishing when it's nice out. Now, I've been out there in the in freezing rain where you wish it would just snow so that you just weren't soaking wet. I mean, nasty conditions and I love those conditions. I'd rather be out in the worst conditions possible because there's only a few people out there that can mentally hang all day doing it. What a lot of people don't understand is, I mean, they look at a bass tournament and it's like, okay, you guys are going fishing. You know, most people look at fishing and they're just out there to relax. But when you talk about at a professional level and the tournament fishing, it's about seconds. I mean, seconds make minutes and, you know, in a minute, somebody could make 20 casts. It's time management. You know, using every second to your advantage is what's gonna allow you to make more casts during the day. I equate it to the military. You know, we'd come in on target, you know, at one minute out, that's when you switch on. I mean, you're totally focused, you're dialed into everything that's going on. The question I get asked a lot is, you know, how did I get to where I'm at? How do you maintain where you are? How did I get to where I was in the military, you know, to be at, you know, tip of the spear and to compete now at the top level? What's a rule to live by? And it's that you're never going to get there if you quit. You got to keep trying. Don't quit.